episode 38 of Anime and Us Other. I'm TJ. And I'm Sean. And this is the review show that reviews anime movies. Kind of, sort of, whatever. I think I got the numbers right now, though. Alright, guys. So this week episode, we are doing Dragon Ball Z Bio Brawly, known in Japan as Dragon Ball Z Defeat the Super Warrior. I'll be the winner. And, or, sorry, by Toei's own English title, Dragon Ball Z Attack Super Warriors. 1994. You, you harp on these titles. Every it's time. so dumb. <laughs> Just give me one thing and translate it. Like, a, defeat this. Well, to be fair, Bio Brawl is better than Defeat the Super Warrior. I'll be the winner and attack Super Warriors. Okay. All right. So this movie was a bit more, um, was a bit different than all of the others. Yes. So I guess we're, you're done with the that part of it. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. So premise then. Uh, Brawly's back, but there's more to it. Yes. <laughs> Android 18 has not been paid. For letting uh, Mr. Satan take over. You know what's weird about this? You said, because, you know, you're just going to say how 18 let him win the tournament and Mm -hmm. stuff. So it's continuity from... Z. Z. But it's also continuity from the last Broly movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Well, to be fair, every single movie uses continuity from the TV show. And then they just kind of diverge. Yeah, but the movies don't usually... Well, Connect from movie to movie. No, you're right. The Brawly ones seem to be the only ones. Yeah. You know what would be funny? If all the movies were their own universe. <laughs> yeah, you know funny. what I mean? That yeah. would probably make a... L- I mean, I'm sure there'd still be continuity issues, but it would make a little more sense, at least. Yeah. Like, would they, like all the movies are just a parallel. Right. Uh, anyway, yeah. Go ahead. So, uh, in Z, the Boo? Yeah, the Boo uh, tournament. Well, it, um, yeah. Towards the end, like, it's Goku, Vegeta, they all left and after murdering a bunch of people and shit. Um, Gohan left and all that. So the only real fighters were left were 18. Mm-hmm. And Mr. Satan's there. He's the champ. So, <laughs> you know, they're fighting or what are talking really. And, uh, she bargains with him to get money for letting him win. And that happens. And he apparently never paid her. <laughs> so she's at his house with, uh, Krillin and Marin. And she's just wrecking all his trophies and shit. And, uh, Trunks and Goten, Goten are, there. are there too. Which, there's, they always stand on each other's shoulders to look through windows mm-hmm. and shit. And it's like, just f***ing fly. <laughs> What are you doing? Anyway, uh, a henchman for one of his old uh, rivals shows up. Yeah. Mr. Satan's old rivals. And is like, hey, you got unsettled business or whatever. Come handle it. Well, I, I can't remember. Well, no. He sends him there and he says he challenges you to a fight. And if you don't accept it, he's going to tell the world that back in camp you peed yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he goes 18 tags along because... So you didn't get paid yet? Mm-hmm. Goten and Trunks are there, because they're there. Like, in the spaceship there. <laughs> well, they they jump in the trunk and oh, okay. kind of hide and sneak in. And Krillin stays with Aaron. Yeah. And then, essentially, they get there, and the guy's not a fighter anymore. He's supposedly a genius, or he just has a lot of money. He has a lot of money, and he bought a lot of scientists. Yeah, because he keeps making uh, grammatical errors and stuff. Yes. Anyway, he's created bio-warriors, which... Are stronger than the average human, but easily defeated. They're like Krillin level. I, maybe, maybe less, but yeah. I would say they're about Krillin level. I didn't see any energy blast. I feel like they Krillin level could hold himself. He'd still lose, but I feel like he'd hold his own against Goten and Trunks, de-transformed. You know what I mean? Like before Super Saiyan base form. I feel like he'd do a little better than they did. You know what I mean? True, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, doesn't matter. Would it make you feel better if I said Yamcha level? <laughs> I mean, but they defeat the Bio Warriors super quick. I forgot how much defensive you are with Krillin. Krillin's decent, all right? <laughs> and then, uh, oh, but 18 only agreed to fight for Mr. Satan, because clearly they were stronger than him. If she got another 2 million, Zenny. 20 million. 20 million. And then, uh, you know, he pulls his trump card, gets out his super warrior, and it's Brawly. But the the acid on or something, something happened with the chemical compound, which, like, with him. Yeah. And now he's, like, this goop. Swamp Thing monster. Yeah, he looks like Swamp Thing. But with Super Saiyan abilities? Kind of. Kind he of. has his Broly abilities, I would say. But sort of. He's not that Not strong. really, yeah. Like, a Super Saiyan 2 could probably take him out, because the boys are Super Saiyan 1, and they're holding their own for a good good amount of the time. Why don't they fuse? There's just before there's fusion. No, there's no reason for it. There, this is before fusion 2, isn't it? Is it? They didn't fuse in the other movies? No, they didn't. No. I guess it is before the fusion. Okay. Well, wait. Goku's not around. So, like, if this were to be Z continuity, Goku's not around because of the second one. We know he's he, we know he's back in other world. We're in Boo Saga, right? Mm-hmm. But we know he's back in other world. But if this so is so, wait, if he's back in other world, that means the boys are training are currently either training in the hyperbolic time cha- chamber for fusion or it's post that. 
But here's the thing. So they should either have it or they shouldn't be here. They should be in the hyperbolic time But here's time the chamber. thing. If this is after the tournament, Goku should already, re- already be on Earth. Yeah, that's my point. If Goku's not around, which he clearly isn't, mm. he would notice the boys are fighting and come help him, unlike Vegeta, which was confirmed in the last okay. movie. <laughs> here's my question, then. Here's, here's the question. Where's Gohan? I don't know. Probably getting done from Videl. He's a little busy. Oh, okay. <laughs> they had to make pan sometimes. Okay. <laughs> That that's my best. I, I that's the best I can come up. All with. I'm saying, know. there's a there's a world ending goop. This catastrophe about that. And happen. they can sense power levels. They see the boys are going up and down in power level. Mm-hmm. Like they should be coming. Yeah, <laughs> but I they mean, I guess go on is. <laughs> anyway, uh, Bio Broly's there. They're fighting and everything, and eventually they win. Uh, this there's one one thing a note for me is that uh, well two things one Goku Gohan Vegeta don't save the day. No, but that's what kind of makes us different than the you other. You answered the door before you got to see the end and where they cut over to I other paused it. Oh, okay. Where but like yeah, they they didn't get to save the day in this one, but of course we can't end the movie without Goku having to go fix Broly oh, down right, in right, right. down in hell, yeah. so I, mean, I, the, I didn't see that, sorry. Yeah, that, so in other world, apparently Broly's down in hell causing trouble, and they're like, Goku, go, you and PyCon have to go take care of it. <laughs> well, I guess PyCon, who is a filler character, uh-huh. it's not in the manga or anything, is uh, sort of canon, but only in the movies. Yes. It counts for you. I guess. Whatever, but that's it's... Just... But it is pretty cool that, like, Goku didn't save the day, Gohan didn't save the day, Vegeta didn't save the day, not that Vegeta ever does, but he didn't. And the only other thing I would say of note is that uh, Trunks does Kamehameha's in this, which is kind of weird. Yeah, I was with the ass. Does Trunks ever do Kamehameha? Not that I know of. No one besides Goku, Gohan, Krillin, obviously Master Roshi. I think Yamcha uses it yeah. canon at some point. I can't remember. He does. And that's kind of it. I don't think anyone else does it. Goten, obviously. I mean... Anyone related to Goku, sure. Yeah, I think that's it. So, like, this is kind of... It's kind of weird to see it. I don't know why. I guess because, like, Trunks doesn't have his own, like, iconic energy blast, especially then. I mean, he has, like, the finish buster and all that, but that's much later on. Right. I don't know. I guess it's completely possible since he spends all of his time with Goten that Goten just taught him how to do it. Yeah, I mean... (laughs) You say Kamehameha, and, you, you th- <laughs> and they know how to use energy. Yeah, I know. Like, it was only super cool and interesting when it was first brought about, because, like, no one was shooting energy back yeah, then. Yeah, that's true. Um, this is this is a weird one with a weird cast. I didn't mind the cast, though. I like. I didn't mind it, necessarily. It wasn't really great. I mean, but, like, even we could go back to, you know, no one came in and stole the win, but they didn't actually just beat him. They dropped him in goop. And yeah, that was the end of it. He got Trunks outsmarted him. That was it. Mm-hmm. So they didn't even get a real win. Uh, at one point, Krillin shows up and uh, does a destructor disc and cuts his head off, and then it just re like attaches to the body. Yeah. Krillin shows up to get his ass kicked. Essentially, well, he sort of saved his wife a little, a little bit, sure, and then he got his ass kicked, which doesn't movie. quite make much sense because like she's supposed to be much stronger than a regular Super Saiyan. She should be much stronger than those boys, than Goten and Trunks. Right. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I th- her power levels are kind of goes up and down dependent on what the plot needs. Specifically in Super, in Super, uh, seventeen's like a big plot point, or, and eighteen. Honestly, they're both in the tournament of power, and like they can compete with gods because their whole infinite energy production thing. Oh, it's so dumb. <laughs> like I, I get it, but like if you had infinite energy, you could have f-ing defeated Cell super f-ing easy. But well, they didn't figure it out, out yet. Yeah, sure. <laughs> didn't have the parts for that one yet. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. This one was it was goofy, but it wasn't like focused on Broly, which I think made it better. Like Broly was just there. Yeah, it was. He was just the guy they were fighting. Yeah, it was more this, focused on the other characters. It was, it was more of a comedy movie about Hercule and stuff like mm-hmm. that, which is Hercule's always fun to see get beat up in the uh, a little. So it gets so. boring after a while. Yeah, I mean, but, you know, for, you know, 40-minute movie, mm. <laughs> whatever. 40-minute movie? 11-minute? <laughs> 11-minute podcast. <laughs> That's one quarter of the of what the movie was. Yeah. So, I mean, <sighs> I don't know. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. It feels weird, but, like, it's another middle of the road for me. Yeah. But, yeah. It was. It, it had its moments, and at the same time, it was kind of boring. It was, it was kind of boring. Oh, we forgot to mention that the... Um, Priest from the last movie. Oh, yeah. He was in it. <laughs> he apparently... I guess he found Broly's body or whatever and brought it to him. Well, I don't no, remember. He found the spaceship Broly crashed in and 
chipped off like a piece of rock that had his blood on it. Oh. And he gave it to the scientist who, uh, I guess, cloned oh, him. Only he found Dr. Jarreau. <laughs> if only. <laughs> But yeah, that's so. Uh, yeah, that's why I connected to the other movie because that guy came back for reasons, and then he gets, and then everybody gets eaten by goop. We forgot to mention the goop too, uh, the because purple goop. the purple goop that apparently it's apparently abs- acidic or whatever, or you know, assimilates all organic mm. matter that is turns to stone when touched with salt water, and then they tease like giant bio Broly. He and shows up right at the end, but then he sort of solidifies, and then there's no fight, and then, and then they come in, man, and Frey <laughs> come it's a little anticlimactic. Yeah, I don't know. I was it was a little refreshing to me just to, because of the different characters that involved. Was, that was fun. I'll give it a six. I'm still probably out of five, but yeah. it's in the middle of the road. But it wasn't a hard watch. Yeah, it wasn't terrible. So next episode, I don't remember what it's called. Parasite the Maxim. <laughs> there you go. See Bye. You guys.